Abbey State Board members unanimously agreeing more needed to be done for teachers, but the final say belongs to lawmakers when it comes to increasing wages. We have to invest in people so that our children have what they need in order to learn and to be able to then grow our economy. Uh, so this is about a um, educated, healthy workforce, and it starts with education and teachers. State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister, along with the Department of Education, argue this raise is needed to keep and attract teachers to Oklahoma. Average pay in Oklahoma currently trails average pay in states in our region, Colorado, Texas, and New Mexico. So we've got to keep pace with market, and this is an important step in that, and it is not one and done. Senator Adam Pugh, chairman of the Education Committee, says the Senate is consistently looking for ways to improve education outcomes. Quote, during the interim pro tem treat, members of his staff and I have met routinely with teachers and administrators from across the state to listen to their concerns and find ways the legislature can help them meet these goals. We will review these requests from OSDE and we'll go through the budgeting process as it always does. Governor Stitt's office not weighing in on this specific pay raise, but also saying he supports paying teachers more. Telling KOCO5 earlier this week, quote, Governor Stitt has been a tireless advocate for getting Oklahoma teachers to be the highest paid in the region and looks forward to continuing that effort with the next state superintendent. And lawmakers won't meet again until the next regular session on this topic this coming February. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.